What's up? Welcome to my channel. Tonight we're watching The Pacific episode 8. Finally getting to the two islands that I actually know a little bit about. Not looking forward to it to be very honest, but I also want to watch it. Want to know more about what happened. The show is really, really brutal. I mean, you guys told me that it would be really brutal, but to see it, just imagining what it must have been like in real life. And I know this and episode 9 are going to be really... I feel like they're going to be a lot more brutal than what we've seen so far, so... Yeah, without any delay, let's just get right into it. Pele Lu was an American victory, but it came at great cost. Suffering over 6,500 casualties. Oh. Ultimately, General MacArthur would not use Pele Lu in retaking the Philippines. Nor was the island ever used for any future operations. I want it to be known that there was a battle there and it was a, a SOB. Iwo Jima. Iwo Jima. Eight square miles of volcanic rock and ash. Perfectly honest about it, everybody was. I don't know anybody that could claim they weren't scared. It was the only battle in the war where American casualties outnumbered the Japanese. A lot of good Marines got killed there. Oh my god. I guess the reason why Peru was mostly forgotten would be because they did not use the island afterwards obviously but that just sucks he's right everybody should know about it and the person saying everybody was scared you had to be reminded me of Akak -Ak telling um joe mozzello's eugene telling eugene that if you're not scared, you're either dead or stupid. Is that what he said? Basically said that everybody is scared, whether they show it or not. I am already crying before the show even started, though, because I punched myself in the eye just before I started recording. So it hurts. Men at War. It's a signed copy. The old man's a doctor. Look at my eyes. The heebie-jeebies. It's hepatitis and you don't have it. Hey, check out my eyes, Jay. They look yellow. I just got transferred out of King. The least I can do is buy you guys a drink at the slop shoot. Oh. Somebody check his eyes for him so he feels better. Carlo works Are we going to see him factory. again? And then you brothers have a lot to talk about. Yes. Some guys have to give us the stuff to fight with. I'll never forget that day you left for overseas. Ha ha, that's right. Ha ha. Remember? You were out in the jungle, standing guard from 8 till midnight. It was raining. It had stopped raining. We fought valiantly to check the savages. Of course. Hey, Dad, Moses hey. says I sound like a movie star. That's oh, me, right? Yeah, I'm going to go make a film now. The voice of an angel. <laughs> voice of an angel. All I do is dress up and say what they tell me. Well, everyone in America knows the family name because of you, Jim. Right. Excuse me. What you gonna do? Is he going to go back? What can I do for you? I'll see your enlistment's up in six months. I'll tell you what, I'll push through your discharge. Let you go home now. No, sir, that's not what I mean. Yeah, he wants to go back. Let me go back and train the new kids. Let me help them the way I know how. You make me proud to be a Marine. Sergeant Bassalone. I think everybody knows you. Where's the rest of the company? I told they were coming in three days, a week. Oh, 
I'm not crying, these are just the tears because of the punch. Company! Fall in on your racks. Tatum, Charles, private first class. Evans and Steve, private first class. I've had no orders, Sergeant. You've been doing what you've been told to do. Fall in for PT, five mile run, three minutes. That's John Vassalo. Who the hell is John Vassalo? Jesus, you live in a cave? He's a hero. Let's go, let's go, move! Move your ass! Now we're doing a range of 1400. Go draw your weapons and stand by to move. Set that pin on the tripod. Get that gun out of the dirt! You cannot fuck this up, ever. Lives depend on it. Break it down, do it again. Hey, Craig, how you doing, John? How's the child, boys? VIP on the back, too. He looks even better in person. And here he comes. <laughs> you see these stripes? I'm an NCO, just like you. I have work to do. He likes you. Every Friday, I go catch the 6 o'clock train to L.A., just in case you're interested. Yeah, he's interested in the sergeant. This is... This episode is going in a totally different direction than what I thought it would go in. Here it comes. I'm Italian, you're Italian. <laughs> hey, we're both probably related to Joe DiMaggio. L.A. is full of girls for a guy like you. You'll do fine. Happy hunting, Sergeant. Now he's even more interested. It's true what they say about you. You get shot down, you keep coming back. What? <laughs> I'll see what I can do. And what would that be? Well, he is a celebrity. You go. I'm thinking of joining the Navy. Mm -hmm. Whoa. You got more than a table. Yeah, I never asked for it, but they always put me up in a presidential suite. That's why you arranged all this? To impress me before we get down to business? Well, that's standard operating procedure for you, isn't it? No. Not anymore. You know, I saw you once, the Brown Derby, when you arrived with one of those blonde starlets on your own. There you went, right to the front of the line. Out you came, a brunette starlet on your arm, and back into the same limousine. Yeah. You ever make it inside? I had a shrimp cocktail and a Coke just before they closed the joint. Did I do something wrong? This is nothing but steaks and conversation. Tell the chef the Caesar salad was excellent, the porterhouse is a little tough. You didn't do anything a million other guys haven't done. You just did it in a nicer room. Damn. Gonna be Sergeant Bazalone, sir. I'll be replacing Captain LaFrancois, who went AWOL while on liberty. Oh. Well, you haven't got much time. Your enlistment runs out in July. Get that water! Get up that tower! Oh, they're all here now. What is this, a mob? In formation, two ranks behind me! Getting them all in crazy shape. This may not be appropriate, but... Hold on. Friday night. Place I know, just off the base. A restaurant. Clancy's? Nice place. But no. Oh. How about breakfast? Tomorrow morning. Go up a little earlier, I'll make you French toast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> High five. Every Marine out of those racks and on my deck! Sweet Rudy. Guys, it's gonna be really tough out there. That's why he's being so tough. How come we're the only ones running like this? Every damn morning. I'm so sick of this shit. Just wanna get out there and slap a jap. So I don't wanna slap a jap, Gunny. <laughs> Bet you all wanna do more than slap a jap. Yes, sir. That's what the enemy is to you, huh? Fucking bug tooth cartoon. Dreamed up by some asshole on Madison Avenue to sell soap. He has been at war since you were in fucking diapers and endured misery. You couldn't dream up in your worst nightmare. Never, ever fail to respect their desire to put you and your buddies into an early grave. Information in two minutes. When they started talking, I really wanted him to tell them. Almost ready. Where is he, Wojima? You strike me as an Italian mama's boy. Wanted to make you feel at home. <laughs> no 
is enough for seconds. You don't want seconds. This is good. Best coffee I ever had was on Guadalcanal. Morning after the battle, my guys cooked up the coffee over a fire of green coconut logs. I never tasted anything so good. Not that I don't appreciate this. <laughs> I was supposed to get married, give him grandkids. My father just stopped talking to me. I was sitting in this diner. <laughs> my pop walked in. That was the best I ever had. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a discharge and you're going to go home. He doesn't want to do that. I love the Marines. No, I can't imagine being anywhere or doing anything else. You're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, ruining their date. Tatum Evanson, set it up. Two short bursts, three to five rounds. Ooh. This is a bail. It'll make it easier to carry the gun with a hot barrel. I couldn't hit the side of a barn with that thing. You better stop practicing. Bring in that water? No way! No way! I get you. My... I'll get it. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. This is so cute. Feels so good to see him so happy. These guys would go to Iwo Jima. But wherever we go, we will see the job through. Gunnery Sergeant John Bassalone has decided that home can wait. He's going to Iwo Jima too. So is anybody scared? No, no sir. sir. You're lying sex is shit. <laughs> Company, dismiss. <laughs> He hasn't told her. I've shipped over. I've been enlisted. If you're looking for something else, somebody in a different line of work, tell me now. I'm in for the duration plus six months. I know how it goes, Sergeant. <gasps> oh. Oh no, please don't let anything happen to him. Oh. No, I want to shot Alina alone in that dress. Look here, darling, try not to blush. I feel like a paratrooper. Now kiss her like you mean it. Now I can do that. <laughs> her hair is so beautiful. <laughs> Bro, nice tattoo. Don't show me anything else. What have we done? Gone respectable. Just wait and see. We're gonna have six kids. It's a lot of kids. Oh my God, is something gonna happen to him? Please don't let anything happen to him. I feel like something's gonna happen to him. He's gonna, he's not gonna come back. This is yours now. I want you to wear it. He's not coming back, is he? They both know that there is a very big chance that he might not be able to come back. That sucks. Whoa. Wait, is that John? I said look at me! Oh my god. Ooh. How would that guy keep moving? Oh my god. Hop him back! Oh my god. Get that fucker up here! Move! Take your charges, ready to move! Captain, up here! No! 
Oh no. is a badass. That's why he was training you so hard. Oh my god. I knew it. I knew it. I knew, I knew it. The way they were showing him so much and... First, when we saw him, I thought, you know, they're showing him because he's not feeling really good. He wants to go back, and so maybe he's going to go back, and we're going to see that. And then he falls in love, and I was like, yeah, that was cute. And then they get married, and then they're talking about their future, and the way that it just kept going, I started feeling like maybe he was going to die. This was less about... Iwo Jima and more about John Bass alone. And they were also talking in the beginning about how so many died. Iwo Jima, I think, was the bloodiest battle in Marine Corps history, if I remember it right. Okinawa and Iwo Jima were the worst battles in the Pacific and we saw that how so many were just dying and the look on those guys faces when John gets hit they were just so for a moment could not believe it and the look on their faces were like what are we gonna do and to see this guy that they've been following you see him die right in front of you and then lived as a hero and he died as a hero. <sighs> I knew this episode was going to be really rough. I knew the battle was really bloody and I thought we were just gonna see all of that. We were just gonna see the Pacific. But they just made it so personal by focusing on this one person and it just 
hurts even more. They made it so, so personal that you really feel the loss. I kept saying throughout the episode, where is Iwo Jima? And now I'm wishing they just didn't show that at all. Maybe that would have been better. I was gonna watch Okinawa too, but I'm not gonna do that now. Now, every single time in every episode, whenever they showed him, kept feeling he was gonna go back. And he was enjoying all of that in the beginning, but then he also started feeling not so good. That just made it even more of a possibility that he was going to go back. <sighs> Can't imagine how his parents must have felt. His entire family. He was this big celebrity back home and he was treated whole family was treated so good and basically had everything this guy basically had everything to live a luxurious happy life and he went back and then he never came back I kept thinking throughout the episodes, like, I thought I was going to cry a lot, but this episode is so cute. It's so happy. And it's so beautiful. In the last five minutes, they changed the entire mood. Because I started watching this, expecting the entire episode to be like those last five minutes. So, you know, I was pretty happy throughout the episode. We did not see um, Eugene and those guys in Iwo Jima. So did they not fight in Iwo Jima? Are they going to go to Okinawa? They were just not in Iwo Jima because they had just finished fighting in Pelelu. Or were they there and they just did not show us? I don't know. I want to look it up, but I should not. Until I finish the show, I shall wait for two more episodes and then I'll look up everything, all the questions that I have. Uh, yeah, I can't watch another episode right now. And if you, if I hope you enjoy watching this with me, I don't know. I just don't know how to end these, these videos with the Pacific. The whole mood is just so different from when you start the video. I don't even know how to end the videos, but yeah, I guess I'll see you soon.